ophthalmic epidemiology and prevention of blindness, meeting global eye health needs. And uh, thanks to the NAG for uh, sharing with me. So we have, actually I requested for a video from our president, Dr. Neeru Gupta, she has sent it. Dr. Ramul, can we play that? So Dr. Neeru Gupta is our president and myself as treasurer and EO is the CEO and we have Dr. Abis Tam from Abu Dhabi as the vice president. And Neeru, Neeru sent it. And I asked for it as an introduction because uh, Santosh withdrew is uh, either I don't have any role. So we are, ad Ravi, we are addressing each other. So it's a closed meeting now. Yeah, please, please. Ready? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dear symposium chairs, dear colleagues, it's my it great pleasure clear. to be with you today and welcome to our ICO symposium. My thanks go to the All India Ophthalmological Society for their kind invitation to hold a symposium of the International Council of Ophthalmology. The ICO works with ophthalmology societies to enhance ophthalmic education and to improve access to the highest quality eye care. The first International Congress of Ophthalmologists was convened in 1857. And later in 1927, the ICO was founded. Soon, we'll be celebrating its first 100 years of activities. The ICO is in official relations with the World Health Organization. And while the WHO works with ministries of health of their member states, the ICO brings ophthalmologic societies to jointly implement resolutions of the World Health Assembly and the recommendations of the World Report on Vision. The ICO work is guided by our strategic plan and the focus is in three areas. Ophthalmic education, advocacy for eye care and eye health, and support to our member societies. The ICO runs a number of programs supporting advocacy and ophthalmology society development, education, guidelines, and curricula. Ah. We run twice a year international examinations in ophthalmology in more than 80 countries around the world. Each year, the ICO gives a number of fellowship awards to colleagues from low-income and middle-income countries to study abroad and bring their new knowledge and skills back home. Our flagship program is the World Ophthalmology Congress. The next one will be held from 16 to 19 August this year in Vancouver, Canada. And I very much look forward to meeting you all there at our Congress. Again, thank you very much for joining us for our ICO symposium, and I wish you an inspiring and enjoyable time during the All India Ophthalmological Society annual meeting. Thank you.